In this video, we're going to add stuff to a list box and then give the user an option to copy the contents of a list box to the clipboard and also give the user the ability to save the list box items to file. So let's take a look at the save to file operation. So I'm going to add some stuff here. And then I'm going to hit save to file. And we've got each item on their own line in a text file. Now let's take a look at the copy to clipboard. So I'm going to copy all these items to clipboard. I'm going to open up the file again, hit control paste, and you've got your items there. Okay, let's start with the submit button. So the submit button simply is going to add the text input text to the items collection, and we're also going to clear the input so the user doesn't have to do it manually. Okay, here is the save to file click event handler. I'm simply going to check to see if there are items in the list box. Then I'm going to create a text writer with file path list.txt. And for each item text in listbox.items collection, so you can iterate through the item collection using the string type, which is pretty cool. And then we're going to write a line to the text file. Then I'm just going to open up the file using process start. So here is the copy to clipboard event handler, and we're going to check again for items in the list box. And if there are items, then we're going to create a string builder. And after that, we're going to iterate through the item list using the same for each signature. And then we're going to use the append line method of the string builder to append our items. And the append line is a nice little method. It uses the default line terminator. You don't really need to worry about that stuff. And then after that, you can do further processing on the text. I decided to trim the last new line to make it look nice. Then I'm going to use the clipboard set text method to copy the text content to the clipboard.